that was beautiful. That tension and release. Okay, now this is different. That is a beautiful chord. La, da, da, da. Final Fantasy XIV is an immensely successful, massively multiplayer online RPG or MMORPG and I've actually tried a few hours of the free trial. Unfortunately, it didn't really click with me so I won't be playing the game more than that. However, from what I've heard of the music, it is top notch and we're here to check out some more of your suggested music from Final Fantasy XIV. Let's go! This is the Shadowbringers theme. Perfect. Oh my god. This, oh my god, what a tribute to like the musical aesthetics of Final Fantasy that was set by Nobuo Oematsu. Nobuo Oematsu, of course, is the iconic composer of the original Final Fantasy series. And this Shadowbringers is composed by Masayoshi Soken, the award-winning composer of Final Fantasy 16. But what I'm saying that it evokes the legacy of Final Fantasy is this duality of having a purely orchestral sound mix and then a modern kind of rock, kind of blues rock aesthetic. And the combination of that is very much present here, starting with that very ethereal soprano and mostly string section, and then segueing to a sort of blues rock intro but also using the same melody that the female singer was singing oh. <laughs> What a beautiful, edgy, and ethereal vibe that was. So many held chords, mostly building up tension and just staying there and kind of building up to something. That was beautiful. That tension and release, the build up of that operatic style choir and the flurry of the string section thickening and thickening and then you remove it. Wow, what a pristine transition.
violin solo, near and dear to my heart. Beautiful unison by the violin and the lead guitar. A melding of the synthetic and the acoustic. Beautiful. Oh my God. Three things I really enjoyed. That ethereal, orchestral, and soprano intro in the beginning, of course. The entrance of the rock and the symphonic rock. But oh my God, I'm seeing like the orchestra and the choir represents the cinematic, larger-than-life adventure that you're about to embark in in Final Fantasy XIV. But the rock section, especially the blues rock texture kind of represent the ruggedness of the adventurers. It is like your normal everyday adventurers going on their rugged lifestyle, just trying to get by, you know? I like this combination of aesthetics. Pretty much very Final Fantasy. And I think one of the clearest examples of that melding of the symphonic and the rock aesthetic is... Wandering Angel, the Advent Children version, which I have featured in a previous video, by the way, so go check it out as well. Be the first to see my videos at least one hour ahead of everyone by supporting the channel via YouTube memberships or Patreon. And keep the videos coming. Links in the description. Equilibrium, one of the boss battle themes that you suggested. Again, I know there's a video out there with gameplay footage, not interested, music only. God. It definitely has that ethereal, surreal Final Fantasy aesthetic, starting with like an, an opening choir and then a little bit of kind of Baroque staccato strings, evoking a bit of Fitos, Wusek, Wikos, Vinosek from Final Fantasy VIII, and a little bit of One Winged Angel. But it makes sense. Boss battle theme, Final Fantasy VIII, bring out all the Baroque aesthetics, even that harpsichord. Okay, now this is different. This is a different direction. This is more pop. Unfortunately, I'm getting distracted by the percussion patch. The percussion library being used here is the damage percussion library, which is one of the most commonly used libraries for action films or action shows.
I have used this a lot in some of my other film scores as well. I can't unhear it now. It's so well known. Kind of a cliche now, but I will try to focus on the other elements instead. This, this bass line. Dun, 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 There's another Square Enix game that kind of evokes this bass line. Chrono Cross, the bass line, is a favorite bass line pattern of Yasunori Mitsuda. If you listen to his works with bass guitar, that is his favorite bass line pattern. Dun, 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 dun. Also, interesting combination of the choir, which is sounding a little bit tribal, a little bit more on liturgical church music. But then the lead vocals is more like pop, very almost K-pop even. I love that ethereal vibe. So there's this cloud, like a muddied cloud of harmony that is being formed by the string section and the choir. They're just letting long notes float about while the crispiness of the rhythm section kind of drive the piece. But that ethereal, singular, melodic line of the lead vocals kind of binds it all together. Beautiful. I was mistaken. It was not a harpsichord. The overtones kind of sounded like a harpsichord, but it was more like either a glockenspiel or a xylophone together with the staccato strings. But oh my god, it still evokes that Final Fantasy VIII Edea boss battle theme. It's a beautiful respite. Thick strings, thick harmonies everywhere, and then boom. Just the vocals, the bass, and the percussion. With a little accent from the choir, but it thinned out the harmony, giving your ear a little bit of rest from all those luscious harmonies. You can't have too much of a good thing all the time. Upward chromatic harmony, yes, it sounds so dramatic, so romantic, so nostalgic even. That is a beautiful chord. La, da, 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 Wow, yeah, I can definitely imagine that as a proper boss battle theme. Even the music itself has multiple phases in between it, like very obviously multi-phased battle with multi-phased music. Ah, and I don't even need to see footage to know that. <laughs>
that was but a taste of the Final Fantasy XIV soundtrack. You want more? Let me know. The songs I feature are based heavily on your collective voices. So use the comments or the suggestion form in the description. Now here's another video for you to enjoy.